Hey guys, my name is Moon, and welcome back for more Lost Judgment. So today we're gonna continue the school stories, but we will do the esports club today instead. So let's go. Finish up the skaters last time. Okay, President Son Bomatsu, care to comment on the truth of the cheating allegations? I have absolutely not cheated. I swear it on my heart and soul. What about the suspicions of you being in contact with a professor? You Otani, look into my eyes. <laughs> though I look like a guy that would cheat. I mean, you're very angry though. So dramatic. It is going nowhere. Let's wrap up for today. Oh, you're from the MRC. Hmm? You know me? Oh, Yagami-san. Thanks for coming. Hey. Dogi-kun, were those the guys from the newspaper club? It sounded like they were bothering you all. Yeah, they're determined to write a hit piece about the cheating allegations from the other day. Beg your pardon? So, you're the counselor Taki was talking about. It's me. Yagami. I'm normally an advisor for the MRC. Nice to meet you. Yagami-san. Okay, do you know Virtua Fighter? Yeah. Yeah, who doesn't? That one was real popular. It's the one where he goes, you're 10 years too early when he wins. I mean, even kids would know that. I'm asking if you know the Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown. Who's your main? What? <laughs> I mean, who's your main? Huh? Five Final? It's already, or it already has done many sequels? Too easy. Wow, the ignorance. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, hey. Okay. <laughs> so, Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown, or VF5 FS for short, is the game we're playing at the next tournament. You're going to be our advisor, knowing the basics is the must. Yeah. You're so angry at me, man. Right, got it. Yagami, I can give you a tutorial. Just talk to me whenever it's best for you. Okay. Teach me the basics of the game, sir. Okay. A punch kicks. X for guard. LS. Mid. BKG LB. Okay, I'm not sure. Presented by Sega. Actual start a new game. Virtua Final Showdown 5. Akira Yuki, Pai Chan, Lao Chan, Wolf Hawkfield, Gene Kujo, Rey Mysterio, Lion Rafael, Jackie Bryant, Sarah Bryant, Brother and Sister, Eileen, Lei Fei, Vanessa Lewis. What, random? Dude, I didn't even click X, it automatically clicked it. What's this? What's the name of this girl again? Highlight? Gone were you. Round one. Ready? Go! They like uh we have something like this in games. <laughs> I remember back then these games can be uh games of their own, I mean, but look at this. A game within a game. Shao you basically. I mean, he's not doing anything right now. We won easily. Okay, Yagami-san, how are you with j just typical controls? Well, I feel like I can learn as I go. Okay. I'm willing to practice with you anytime, so just, leave me, just let me know when. Yeah. Roger, Dad. Alright, I need to look into cheating allegations, but how do I go about that? Focus. Ooh, this club increases focus.
Hmm? You were in the club room earlier. You're from the newspaper club. I am Toshiaki Otani, and yes, I'm with the newspaper club. I want to talk about the suspicion surrounding the esport guys. Perfect. I was curious about that too, actually. Why don't we talk somewhere, you know, besides here? I can understand. I'll wait for you at the cafeteria. How do we go there, though? Cafeteria? So yeah, I think this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. I kinda like it though. Playing uh like Tekken. Basically Tekken. Tekken or Street Fighter, basically, right? Hey, where is he? Over there. Hello, brother. Hey. So, Tiny Coon, you guys at the newspaper think the professor is involved with this esports club? Heck yeah. When it comes to that story, I definitely think there's been some technical assistance from the professor. Didn't you approach the esports club to investigate the professor too? Maybe. You got me, son. We can help each other here. We can tell each other what we know about the scandal. Gotcha. A quid pro quo. Fair enough. You first. Sounds like he's going to share something good. Gotta make sure I don't derail it with anything I say. Okay, partnership then. But wait, before you share, at this present moment, I don't think I have anything you don't already know. We can skip your turn for now, as long as you promise to share with me anything you learn in the future. Hmm. Okay, just to be clear, this is off the record, right? I'm not interested in publicly humiliating a student because you take what I say and I and print it in the newspaper. Oh no, it, if it would badly affect a student's future, we'll refrain from reporting it. I do actually have the conviction of a real journalist, you know. All I want is the truth. Hmm. I think real journalists are gonna disappoint you, kid. Okay, suspicions of the esports club. So the catalyst for this was Sanbun Matsukun beating the crap out of someone of or of, or of some famous esports player in a tournament. Yes. A world champion, in fact, he didn't give any opportunity to counterattack. It was over in seconds. Does that mean? Okay, I don't know how much or know much about gaming. Is that something that shouldn't usually happen? Well, at the very least, I've never seen it. It definitely doesn't happen often. What especially weird is San Bonmato is an amateur with no record to speak of and his opponent was an undefeated pro esports player. So it's like an Olympic gold medalist getting crushed by the turtle. Who was tranquilized. And that's why you think he cheated with the professor's help? Yeah, also, I should explain more about that. Okay, connections to the professor. At tournaments, they have pretty hardcore countermeasures against cheating, obviously. Without, without those, the sport would collapse. Like, even in practice match the other day, they were using what's called the cheat detection software. Huh. Wow, I never knew that existed. So, uh, nothing illegal was detected in the match? Apparently not, but regardless, something did happen that only a cheat couldn't explain. I think San Bumato and his crew somehow evaded the software's power of detection. Is that even possible though? Not with the rudimentary skills of a high school student. But the professor? Yeah, he could get it done. That's why I think he's involved. I see. Uh-huh. But of course, it's still a mystery how he could have installed the cheat tool in the machine. There are monitors to make sure that can happen, even for practice matches. There would have been no chance to install a device storage device like a disc or a USB stick. Well, maybe there was truthfully no cheating. Oh no, I saw the match with my own eyes. It was not won in an honest way. If you say so then. Okay, finish talking it out. I think that's uh, about everything I wanted to ask. Hmm. The question is now is how do I proceed with the investigation? The fastest way would be for you to get really good at Virtua Fighter, then play against Sanbun Matsu. He hates losing. If he thinks he's about to lose to a true amateur like you, Gamisan, he'll get desperate and probably use the cheats, right? And so, when Sanbun Matsu's character starts acting weird, that's when you secure the machine he's using. Huh. Okay, the only thing is, I'm a noob, right? 
Is that a term? I have a pretty tough time beating Sanbon Matsukun. Nah, he's got a predictable habits in the way he fights, and he relies too much on certain winning stats or strats. Basically, I'm saying his gameplay is simple and shallow. If you can see through it, you could beat him easily. You seem quite the expert on Virtua Fighter. Ah. It's just something from a long time ago. I'll see you around. Maybe Otani is really good at Virtua Fighter, right? Okay, first I need to practice so I can beat Sanbon Matsukun. Hmm. Okay, I need to go back up again. Sanbon Matsukun. Is he really cheating? Maybe he's really cheating, right? Maybe. Then we beat him up. But let's see. I like how different the school stories are, though. Like, we have a dance club. We had skaters. And now we have this. Esports. Oh, who's this? Is it Amasawa? Oh, no. I thought it was Amasawa. Okay, now if you'll excuse me. Oh, hello. No, from behind, I thought it was Almasawa. Kind of looked like her. You're just an old dinosaur who can't accept you left behind. When they dig up your fossil, don't come crying to me. Hey. Toki-kun. Who was that? Oh, that was Sasamoto-san, the PTA chairwoman. She came to observe things to see whether her club is of the benefit to, to the school community. Yagami-san. Yagami-san. She's another ancient husk who's never even picked up a controller. She thinks games are just toys for children. A game where a player is immersed into a virtual world is the highest form of art. Why can't they understand that? Huh. Okay, this stuff really gets them, doesn't it? The PTA chairwoman hates games. Can't stand them. There are rumors that she's going to try to ban games at school with new regulations. Huh? Seriously? That would mean at the end of the esports club. If it comes out that they cheated, it would be just what the PTA chairman wants. Yeah. They got a reason now to... Disband them. Okay, everyone, we will not bow down to the demon lords. Unstoppable. We must be unyielding. We'll tackle this with relentless spirit. <laughs> We're gonna do so, great a tournament, and then the world will know how important games are. Yes. Yeah, Gamisan, if you want to get some virtual fighter practice in, uh, just let me know. What? Do they have all consoles here? What is this? A PS4? No, it's a PS5, I think. PS2. Okay, you want to go around in Virtual yeah. Fighter? Yes. I want to play against some bot some Bomatsuku. Oh, everyone heard that. They were like, "What? Mm -hmm. Me? You're the best in this club, right?" You're ten years too early. Dude, he's, he definitely is from the Sengoku period. Huh? You're like a child who just started running track, asking to race an Olympian. I hope you realize that. Huh. You're really that good? Yeah, but tell you what, if you can defeat three of the strongest members in this club, then you and I will play. Fujiwara, Uzomi, and Yoshiba, and myself of course, we're the four kings of Serio. Gotcha. Okay, I'll take you all on, in order. Okay, who's... How do we fight them here? With Zoki-kun? Fujiwara. We'll defeat them all, one by one. Why don't tell me I need to do this every time? <laughs> need to open the game every time. That's right, Vanessa. Vanessa Lewis. Training room. This Wara Warong Jean. This this girl is like Brian from Tekken. You know Brian, right? Knockout. <laughs> Easy. We even got replace.
Time. You win, Vanessa Lewis. On to the next battle. There we go. Nice, I win. You're good, Yagami-san. It was this. Yoshiba, what's wrong? Why are you sighing like that? My teacher laid into me pretty hard. I said my practice exam scores were terrible because all I do is play games. Well, the tournament is soon and we're practicing a lot of the time. So there's not much to be done with about academics falling by the wayside. I haven't been able to keep up with my English classes lately either. Okay, Sambo Matsukun. I heard everything. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Too easy. Naive. You're being so naive, you guys. You can't become a pro without sacrificing something. Me? When I'm not sleeping, all I think about is games. Forget about your studies. In fact, I forbid studying for all esports members. What? Uh. Hey, Sambomatsu, you definitely can't do that. You'll cause everyone to be held back. A real gamer isn't afraid of being held back. Hey. While I admire the term deter determination, studying is important too. You gotta be able to do both. True. We got focus. Ah, uh, Yoshiba. And who do we use now? Let's use Sarah Bryant. Then next, we'll use Rey Mysterio. The Great Wall. Lao Chan. Lao Chan. Over, sweetie. Was it Nina Williams? Round one. Ready? Go! These guys are trash though. They didn't even hit me though. Yoshiba. Better luck next time. Try again in a few years. True. <laughs> wow, you're really good now, Yagami san. I can't believe I lost a guy who only just started training. Maybe I suck at fighting games. Maybe you do. Here he comes. <laughs> Here he comes. Talk then. I heard everything. I can believe what I'm hearing. Uh. Sanbomatsu, sucking is just an excuse for weak people. Your lack of effort was to blame. It's effort. Yoshiba, your strongest weapons aren't on screen. They're hard work and passion. You're right, Sanbomatsu. Thanks. Hello, everyone. It looks like you're having fun today. Oh, she's back. The ancient husk. Hmm? Are you the PTA chairwoman? The name's Sasamoto. I have some business with the board chairman, and this room was on my way to see him. You're gonna put pressure on the chairman again, aren't you? You stomp out my club. I won't let you do it. We're gonna win the tournament, and everyone will see how important games are. Games? Important? Everyone? You're all such funny kids. Leave then. Wow, did she drop in just to get her daily coat of snark in? She really does hate games. Okay, this is oppression. Let's just do our best and try not to lose uh, to people like yes. her. Of course, that's what we all do. Okay, the one last guy. Uzumi. Let's try the sister. I don't know, sister, brother of Bryant. What's the name of the Jackie. Jackie Bryant. Aoi Umenokoji. Go ahead. No 
Knock yourself out. Round one. Ready? Go! Excellent! Hey, she didn't even do anything to me. <laughs> He's like Steve, but he could kick. Back out. Better luck next time. You can't beat me with that. True, you can't beat me with that. That's too easy. You're pretty dang good, Yagami-san. You too, Uzumi-kun. That was a great match. By the way. By the way, Toki-kun, since I beat all three of them, does it mean I can take on Sanbun Matsu-kun? Yes, he's gotta agree now. Hey. Okay, perfect. When I play him, can we sit at yours and not at his? What? Sure, but why? The theory is that Sanbun Matsu-kun wasn't using his own machine. That he cheated on his opponent's machine, right? So we should play our match on a machine that can't be tampered with. Then we can look into this supposed cheating. Okay, sure. I understand. And just to be sure, the day we play our match, do you think you could exchange the machine at your desk for a new one? I think I can do that. There's one that's not being used. I'll go to the club ahead of time to switch it out and then stand watch. Okay, let's go. We got 10,000? Oh, well, let me see my... Oh, it's very fast. 83% already, though. Jesus. 42,000. Okay, Sambo Matsukun, it's time for you to die. To think you defeated the Uzo Sambo me, Matsu. And you'll play me as promised? Yes. yes. I think I'll be able to get some decent practice out of playing you. Come on, sit next nope. to me. Nah, let's go to where Toki-kun usually sits. Mm -hmm. Toki's? Why? Is there a problem? No. No, there's no problem. Okay. If Sambomatsu is going to cheat, he'll do it when he's cornered. So I'm going to need some skills to push him close to losing. Okay, who do we use? Paichan. Paichan again. Aline. Akira Yuki. That hurt. Knock out. Round two. Ready? Go. We did it. We nearly lost though. This, this was the hardest battle so far. Time. You win. <laughs> Why does she look like a cat or an animal? I mean, <laughs> her eyes are too big. Easy. You got me, son. One. It was just a warm up. Yeah, give me son. How about another match? The next one will be the real thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. 
All right, if Sambomasa is going to cheat, it'll be right around now. I need to watch carefully to see if his character starts to behave strangely. Okay, how is he going to cheat then? Let's see. Wolf Hawkfield. No, let's use one character we use already. Yeah. He's using Akira Yuki still. You'll enjoy this, trust me. Ready? I'll enjoy this. I trust you. Oh, dude, I'm not... What the... Dude, nothing is happening. Look. Can't move? They can move. Look, he's cheating. He's definitely cheating now. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. He's cheating, bro. I can't even attack. He's cheating, man. Look at this. He's cheating. Yeah, I can't... My, my controls were not inputting. Or they're inputting, but there was a delay. Move. Yeah, like, look at that. That's why you win, huh? Imagine if I won still. But this is literally impossible, though. Oh my god, he's cheating. He cheated, that's why he won, not me. <laughs> Dude, you're so proud of yourself you won by cheating. You're gonna be you're gonna get destroyed in seconds if you zone out during a match. That's strange. There were times when our inputs weren't working. No doubt about it. Sambo Matsu is using cheats. But there was never a chance for him to do anything to Togi-kun's machine, so how is he doing? Hey. Sanbo Matsu-kun, could you stand still for a second? Hmm? Hmm, what's up? Um... Well... That smile you had when you won it was so nice. I want to take a picture of it <laughs> to remember the joy feud. I do have a good smile, so please go ahead and photograph a future star. Then I'm gonna find out how you cheated, though. This is my chance. I need to look closely and find a trick with cheats. What the? Stamina Nix. Suspicious. What the? What's this? Black Clover? What the? Suspicious. An arcade stick that Sunbone Matsu's. It's a standard controller that connects to the machine's USB port. Okay, that's how external storage's device connects to the machine too. So could you have? Couldn't you have an illicit program on the controller? Hey. Say, Toki Kun, can you bring your own controller into practice matches and esports tournament? Yeah, in general, bringing the controller accustomed to is okay. It's just it just has to be the types allowed in the or by the organizers. So you can take your own controller to the match. That means maybe there's something to set up on the controller. You can use a controller to connect to a machine without anyone the wiser. If you modify it a bit and have the memory slot read by the USB, then you might be able to transfer a program to the machine. It's looking like a good theory. Okay, it's dead. Hey. Sanbu Matsukun, could I take a look at your controller? Huh? Why? Is there something you don't want me to see? Dude, he's panicking. Look at him. That's... There's someone I know who's pretty good at programming. I bet they could do some pretty cool stuff with the fight stick. Sambo Matsu. Okay, now hand over the controller, dumbass. Oh, is he gonna run away? What are you doing? I just remembered something. He's running away. Hey! Shoot, is he trying to get rid of the evidence? I won't let him. He actually is cheating. Hold up. Wait. You cheat. You're making fun of people then you are cheating. Uh. 
I'm throwing energy drinks at me. I mean, Big Boy was really cheating, though. Come back. You won't get away. Okay, we're getting close to him now. Faster than any hedgehog around. Faster than any hedgehog around. Okay. <laughs> oh. Eat it, sir. <laughs> Okay, we got him. He's gonna slow down now. Why oh, he's going faster? He doesn't have any health anymore. How's this possible, though? Okay. <laughs> Just keep chasing him. No way. Don't you dare keep running. Uh. We're gonna fight him now. Hey, what are you? It's my martial arts, which I perfected in Virtual Fighter. I'll show you. I'm going to Sanbo win. Matsu. Sanbo Matsu. <laughs> Why did he talk like that? Like the I think that was the English dub talking in Japanese, right? I guess when we do the Japanese dub, it's gonna talk in English and say you're ten ten years too early. Right? <laughs> it's gonna be the opposite, I guess. Oh, Amasawa-san and Yagami newspaper san. boy, Otani, right? What was all of that commotion? You caught Sanbo Matsu, which means... No way. President, Sanbo Matsu, why don't you tell everyone the details of your scheme? Mm -hmm. Fine. You had the cheat tool on your controller. You set it up so that you could install it on the machine whenever you connected via the USB. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you employed the same method against the world famous theme and the practice match. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did. So when you insert the USB into the machine, the cheat files were automatically executed. Do I have that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you install it, you input a specific command that lets you nullify the opponent's controls for a few frames. Mm, and a few frames is huge deal in a fighting game. True though, that could cost the whole match. But to the players, it just feels off. Nullifying the inputs for a few frames would make the opponent think it was just an error on their part. But... But how did you avoid the cheat detection software? Didn't the machines for the practice matches have that? Well... I kinda had some help. A mentor, I guess. Even if he was evil. I knew it. So the professor came all the way up here. The professor, the professor's motive or support, I mean. I used the website to communicate to the professor. I wanted to win the tournament no matter what. So the professor provided you with an advanced cheat tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I made a post on the side and he sent me a private message. <laughs> the professor sometimes doesn't take any interest, but every so often he contacts students who submit a written request. I wonder why he took an interest in a bad behavior like yours. No. I don't know, really, but I think he probably had his sights set on the prize money from the esports tournament. It's usually a lot of cash, and famous overseas tournaments even offered 100 million yen, sometimes 300 million yen. Huh? 300 mil? No way. That's absurd. And you know, I did all this on my own. Toki and others didn't know about any of it. So the motive. Hey. Why do you resort to cheating then, kid? Because I was never that good. I wanted to keep the esports club alive. Hmm? What do you mean? Ever since I started the club a year ago, not once have I been able to win anything. And since we spent too, so much time playing games, our school grades went down. The PTA chairwoman was ready to use that against us. So rumor has it she's pressuring the administration to squash the club. Mm -hmm. 
She is, but I thought if we won something and got talked about, we'd have everyone's respect and the PTH chairwoman would spare us. So that explains all of it then. Nothing else to ask. There's nothing more to ask this poor kid. Forgive me. Yagami-san, everyone. I'm very sorry. I take full responsibility. Does that mean... Take responsibility? Where are you going? I'm going to the chairman. I'm leaving the club. It's what I should do. Sunbun Matsu Senpai. No. Otani, since I'm offering up my own head, could you hold off on putting this in your newspaper? Sunbun Matsu. Is this happening because we're too damn weak? Huh? Hmm? We're so weak, we couldn't win, and that let the PTA target us. Which pushed our president to this indignity. Wrong. Toki, that's not... That's how it is. I'm so ashamed for being so weak. Exactly. We're the ones that fall here, Sanbo Matsu Senpai. So please, don't quit. You're our president. Uh, uh. Toki. Owozumi, you're not mad at me? Are you kidding? We were just gaming, Otaku. You are the one that gave us a place to belong. You taught us it's not embarrassing to be a gamer. That gamers can be athletes too. Yeah. Thanks to you, everyone in school looks at us differently now. It'd be wrong for you to take responsibility all alone. You guys... You guys are best or the best friends I could ask for. This is the best club ever. Hey. Otani, tell me the truth though. Are you going to run an article in them? No, I don't think so. Club and melodrama doesn't move papers anyways. I see. I'll be seeing you then. <laughs> hey, yeah, san do you think you could persuade a chairman to let the esports club continue? Yeah. Well, I am their advisor after all. I guess I'll give the members a hand. Oh, two now. Wow. Great. So the chair match, chairman's willing to keep the club. Yeah. Yeah. Since the cheating was only done in practice match, he's going to overlook it this time. Even the PTH chairwoman begrudgingly accepted the decision as long as they do better in tournaments within the next six months. Which means. Wow, then your skills are really going to be tested. Could, it, could be tough going for the esports club yeah. though. Yeah, but I think this whole thing really strengthened their friendship. The way they've been practicing, they're extremely motivated. So the chairman and the PTA have officially allowed games to be played at school. Maybe I'll join the esports club. Not you. The school and the PTA may allow it, but I do not. <laughs> but why? Didn't they show you how great games can be? For society at large? That's not my issue here. How many times do I have to say it? You're well aware there's something you should be doing right now. But still... You're not allowed to play games for a good long while, Kento. Damn it. This is even tougher than the PTA. Okay, um... Why? This group that's been running around the city gangs underworld lately. Okay. Ooh. A new club. Okay, we can just I guess we can just start it, right? At least start it. Because we 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 finished this already. Let's just see what she wants to talk about. Amasawa. Amasawa, I wanted to talk to you about the new case. Yagami okay, Yagami san, thank you for coming. Please take a seat. Okay, what do you want to talk about then? Ah. Kentukun is sitting in on today's meeting as well? Yeah. Yup. It's somewhat relevant to me though. Oh, is it? So what case is it? Let's see what Amasawa's got for me. Question her. Undercover? Um. New community? My apologies if the question seems out of the left field, but... By any chance, have you heard of the Chujiri that occurred during the Edo era? Chujiri? Chujigiri, I mean. You mean those old crossroad killings where people ambush others with their swords on the streets? Yes. Yes. Yeah, samurai and vagabonds alike supposedly did it to test their skills and weaponry or even mug their victims. Ah. So, any particular reason this is coming up in the current year? Well, <laughs> well it's only become relevant in Ijincho. Granted, it's more of a crossroad beatdown here. Huh? 
crossroad beatdown. What in the world? Apparently, there's a local figure appears out of nowhere to challenge targets to fist fights. I've heard that several thugs and skilled fighters alike have fallen victim to this payback boxer. Ooh. The payback boxer, then. Hey. Oh, now there's the name. What's this payback boxer like? He's tall, well built, and only uses boxing techniques. Okay, we unlocked it. But not only that, I hear he's exceptionally strong too. So much that he's even defeated the martial arts champ. Whoa. Sounds like a real pro. Unfortunately, he's still ident unidentified. He wears a hood over his eyes and hides his face with a mask. Apparently, the payback boxer tells all his victims, I'm here because of your past sins. Sins? What's he mean by that? From what I heard, he only targets rough and tumble types who clearly have skeletons in their closets. There's also a rumor that the payback boxer has been accepting requests made through the professor's website. I see. I see. So he's almost acting like some kind of anti-hero. Any suspects yet, at least? Yes. Well, we do have one potential suspect already. Kenya Oshikiri, a male second year student right here at Serio High. Okay, let's ask about him. I currently have two reasons for suspecting him. First, a button from a Serio High high school uniform was found at one of the payback a boxer's crime scenes. Secondly, I've heard that Oshikiri-kun attends a boxing gym off campus. Okay, how are his boxing skills? The payback boxer is exceptionally strong, right? I also hear Oshikiri Kun's extremely strong as well and known for his tremendous skill. He's downright a prodigy. I bet he's the strongest person at the gym. Huh? You know Oshikiri too? Yeah. Yup. He was originally in the karate club with me. We used to practice together when we were both first years. He was crazy strong in karate too. He beat all the black belt senpai the same month he joined the club. He flat out told them and there's nothing more to this club can this club can teach me and walked out on the spot. Dang, that's crazy though. Hey. Look, Yagami-san, he and I used to be pretty close. I have to say, I really don't think he's the type of guy to do something like this. Kento stands. Kento ku. What kind of guy is Oshikiri from your point of view? So Well, Kenya can be combative, but he's not capable of any real crime. But Oshikiri Kun has been fights are in fights all over town. He's well known as a delinquent here in Ijincho. So actually That's not it, sis. Kenya has a kind of amount on him around his senpai and other tough guys. So they got a wound up pretty fast. He got famous because he kept winning fights that other people picked with him. He never started it. So you really don't think he's got the payback part of the payback boxer in him, do you? Amasawa. All right, Amasawa. What is it exactly you'd like me to do? I'd like for you to go to undercover at the Oshikiri Kun's boxing gym. According to Kento, he opens up sparring opponents that he trusts and respects. If I were to guess, by the logic, should you prove yourself at this gym, he may be willing to share any relevant secrets with gotcha. you. Gotcha. Got it. For once, I'm in my element, considering all the martial arts practice. It's called the Todoroki Boxing Gym over on Sakura River Street. Um... Oh, and Yagami-san, the gym has somewhat of a grim reputation. Hmm? Grim? How? Well... On top of being extremely extensive or intensive with their training, the member role appears to be compromised of some rather frightening individuals. All of them are ex-Yakuza or ex-convicts of some kind. Some even say the gym turns on applicants who lack priors. <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. What kind of gym would do that though? So only people with priors can join the gym. Sounds like a bunch of rumors cooked up by the people who never set foot inside. <laughs> I certainly hope that's the case. So we got a new gym. No, not gym. New school. Four. Honestly, this one, this one. I think that, yeah, the top ones is you can't really complete, right? Like this one had the blocker with it, right? This one were pretty easy. But let's see, maybe we can unlock this ones. And this one, I think I'll hold it. I think I wanna hold it. Like, look at this condition. Main school, store progress. We can't actually do anything with this right now. Like, look at that. And this one as well, see? Like, when I wanna do the school stories, I want to do them... Uh, how do I put this? Like, in one go. 
like just how we did the esports club and the skaters as well right so when we finish a story like we we finish it in one go or maybe one or two episodes depending on how long it is at least it's consecutively done not like for example we do a dance club right now right and then we'll do like a couple episodes who knows when we could continue again right maybe i'll hold off on the other clubs but we'll see next episode we'll see if i can i can unlock the other clubs the other clubs at the bottom if not and then we're just going to continue the main story for now and we can do some side cases as well right we'll see we'll see even though i want to do the boxing gym now i want to save it because i want to do the whole story in one go for it right the dance club as well maybe we'll just hold on to it for now as well so anyways i will continue and do more lost judgment in the next one so i'll just see you then guys bye bye